Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What's New at the Doodlebug. So today, whew, sales of rate sort, um, meaning our secondhand sale starts tomorrow night at five with our pre-sale. Um, it's kind of exclusive. Get in before everybody else gets here Friday morning sale. It has a $10 entry and that entry, please cash, that entry gets donated to a local charity group or two depending. Um, so today was the great sort and I cannot wait to show you how much better it looks back here. Um, Sean came in early this morning. I came in at nine. She was actually here before I was. And then Allison came in a little bit later in the day and they sorted and sorted and sorted. And it's kind of nice that Sean has a little bit of OCD because it is super, super crazy organized back here. I am going to flip the camera around and show you um, I know we have one more vendor coming in yet, so I've got a few tables where I left some space. Um, I gave her special permission because she drives from St. Louis, and she's coming in the weekend for a crop. Um, and so she agreed that she would even sort her own stuff for me because I'm like, you can bring it in after five, but you got to sort it yourself. So um, there's a few tables. I've got some room because usually she brings a bunch of totes. So I'm, I'm waiting for her stuff, but I'm going to flip her on. Oh, hey, Miss Shirley. How are you? All right. So I wish I had a big ladder. I should have gotten the step stool or something out so we could do a huge aerial shot of everything back here. Um, you know, like I said, I've got a little bit of room because I'm waiting for her stuff, but I did try to move it around just a little bit. Um, usually we like to keep all the paper in one area, things like that. But I know that sometimes you guys will say one area gets a little congested because those are busy boxes, like dot boxes you have to dig. And then some tables you can see everything. So they, they go quick. So it makes kind of a, a, a little bit of a hold up back here. So I, I did, you know, switch some things around a little bit. Um, and I may have to kind of watch how flow goes, but these are boxes of paper. There is a slice machine. A brand new, um, this is one of those shirt presses, 20 bucks. Um, the Cricut Air 2, I believe is what it was, 100 bucks. There's a light box, $5. Here's a little holder with embossing folders or something like that. Includes 20 folders. Oh my gosh, 10 bucks. Here's another great little storage. This storage is um, really good for Tim Holtz Distress Inks five bucks embellishments this is all completed pages look at that friends five dollars on all these completed pages so awesome inks glazes any kind of medium like that in here i know somebody asked if there were alcohol markers there are markers, that's for sure, and colored pencils. Um, I'm not for sure if these were alcohol or not. They're Spectrum Noir, but I don't know if they were water-based or alcohol, but we've got bags of those. Um, more, more great completed pages. Look at this. I didn't even notice this box. Look at that one. Oh, so stinking cute. What a great way to gift an album to somebody. Oh, that is gorgeous. You know what? I need to just take pictures of some of these and, and you know, like scrap lift them myself because just the flow is beautiful on some of these stinking cute um, scraps and embellishments. These are something, I don't know, There, it's a Stampin' Up! thing, paper pumpkins. Something like that. I don't know what paper pumpkin means, but we got all kinds of boxes of those. This looks like all kinds of little um, scraps and card pieces, things like that. Looks like there's even some finished cards in there as well. This is all adhesive. Books, embellishments, embellishments. And then we, I don't think we've ever had this many dies. 
Um, we've got stamps and dies, but a lot of these are all dies. Oh, there's some stamps in there too. Dies, 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 stamps and dies. Um, embossing folders, all embossing folders. Embellishments. I'll just pull out a few. Like this is a huge kit. Oh, those Queen and Company. Remember when Queen and Company did all those different shakers and stuff? Those are all shaker cards. Kinds of goodies in here. Um, oh my gosh, look at all some of the little planner stuff, stickers there, embellishments, embellishments, embellishments. All of that is embellishments. There's an alt light. Here is a cricket and a case, um, a big kick, a cuddle bug, another alt light, and that is just one table grouping. This whole table here is albums and mini books. This entire tote is nothing but ribbon, all kinds of ribbon. There's, you know, like kind of, you know, big packs of ribbon, single spools of mesh and ribbon. This one I think is all ribbon and washi tape, or maybe just all washi tape. What is that even? I don't even know what that is. Crazy. Punches, all kinds of punches. I love picking up punches in these sales because you get such a great value on your punches. For me, one thing I never, I never get rid of is my punches. Um, but look at this. Oh, that awesome butterfly. I couldn't think of the word there. I'm so brain dead today for a dollar. Look at that. A dollar. Um, stamps. Here's a binder full of stamps. Look at all the wood mount stamps, wood mount stamps, wood mount stamps. Is this not just fantastic and amazing? All the different Stampin' Up! ones here. And these are close to my heart. Heartfelt creations. And then just so many other good stamps. All kinds of Gina K. There's a bunch of Gina K ones this time. I don't think we've ever had Gina K ones in the sale. All kinds of Gina K ones this time. Um, again, a bunch of close to my heart ones. These here. I mean, okay. So just the packaging alone that she's got her in hers in is like worth the price that she's got on them. Look at all these great stamp sets. Hopefully I'm trying to flip through them quickly. Um, more great ones. Yep. Yeah, that looks like a Gina K. It is a Gina K. Uh, yep. That's a Gina K. All kinds of Gina K ones, all kinds of great. And then these are totes and totes and more totes and more totes of paper. Is that not crazy? What is this one? Oh, more cards. Here's another little pack of stationery. Um, six by six pads, it looks like, or is in this one too. That's the second grouping of tables. And then our last grouping of, oh no, actually there's another two more groupings. This one here is, um, I'm just gonna kinda call this like general crafts. So we've got um, diamond dots are here. Um, fabric is here, yarn is here, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Some different just kind of little uh, DIY decor pieces are here. All kinds of fun stuff, um, like these little, you know, plates that you can do whatever you want with, put vinyl on them. Tools are over here, or some of the tools are. We've got a big box. I know it's got some trimmers and all different kinds of other stuff in it. All kinds of great things. Here is a Mega Misty. Wait for it. Do you see that on that Mega Misty? Yes, I just yelled at you guys. Oh my gosh. I am I was talking myself out of it because let's be honest, the magnet alone is worth $10. So awesome, awesome find there. Some little stamp platforms there. Um, I, I, this is a little uh, platform, so if you have lost your platform to the big shot or you're looking at one of the big shots that's over there, this will work in your big shot. It even says it'll work in the cuddle bug. So if you pick up one of those die cut machines that are in the sale, you may want to pick up that genius mat to go with it. And then storage, all kinds of great storage over here as well. So we've got paper carriers, photo holders, totes there's uh, some purses in here as well 
And look at this great, you know, little like tool chest, 25 bucks, um, paper takers. And then um, these guys here, I still have people call trying to find some of these seven gypsies things. So what, what a snag on those as well too. So all kinds of great stuff in that secondhand sale. Um, and I did, I did get one little order checked in. We were, we were pretty, um, we were steady today. So that was awesome. I had a group that comes in from Scottsburg every couple months and they hadn't been here since August, I think. So that was crazy. Um, and they are always a fun, crazy group when they are in here. But what came in today, first of all, you can see my mess of boxes over here. What came in today though, Tim Holtz trimmer. So I've got four that came in. Um, I've got another order coming. So my next four on the list, you're gonna get a message from me tomorrow that your trimmer is in. So that is fantabulous. Uh, yesterday, I told you that um, our 72 count ink holders from Pink Fresh, the two that I got in were special order and they were, but here are the rest of them. So the next three, these are all up for grabs. So they hold 72 of your mini inks. So those are here now. Um, if you don't snag the ones in the second hand sale, I did get back in stock some little, um, I used to always call them iris cases because I think that's just the brand was when they first came out. But these are great little paper storage containers. Um, they have a nice latch close and they have a handle. I love those for crops. I like um, when I actually get to do the crop, I like to take an empty one to bring my completed pages home in. So those are back in stock for us. And then other fun goodies in my box of goods here. Uh, Doodlebug, we have been out of so many of their alphabet sets. And so it looks like they're slowly starting to come back in stock. So this one here is Blue Jean. They are, um, they're just a good size. They do have a little, they're, they're like a puffy, um, but they're not super thick. I know some of you do not like a real thick um, letter because it adds so much lump to your cha or to your page. Uh, but these are super, super cute. And they're the perfect size for cards too. So if you wanted to use them for cards, you definitely could do those for cards as well. Blue Jean Alphabet for you, Miss Debbie. You got it, my friend. And Debbie, I did send you a box today too. So you've got a box coming your way. Next up, so as when the weather got a little cold there, what was a week and a half ago, I started to freak out thinking I am not stocked up on my liquid glues for the winter. So I stuck a bunch in my cart real quick as I was um, clicking these trimmers on to try and get them in. So we did get a, and I will continue to just reorder, reorder, reorder um, on this stuff. I don't usually stock too heavy um, before the winter, um, depending on how they go before but I may this year, I'm not for sure. I know I'm just kind of rambling here, but anyway, a lot of these liquid glues, if they freeze, they do not thaw, meaning they turn into like a marshmallow consistency in there. They don't come back, um, you know, the, depending on what kind of additives they put in them, um, you know, water or glue is water-based. When water freezes, uh, it changes things. And so a lot of times the glue does not come back from that it kind of solidifies becomes almost like a plastic in there art glitter glue is one of them so if you love this glue definitely get a refill before winter um, I've got a one bigger refill bottle but this is the eight ounce refill bottle got that back in stock I also got into some regular bottles of art glitter glue these are the little two ounce bottles and then I also got back in the metal tips that go on them too so I've got those in and then my favorite glue, the Nuvo glue, I am not for sure if, I, I don't think this one, it can freeze. The only one I know of, I've heard the Barely Art glue can freeze, um, but the only one I know is the, the iCraft glue, I think it's what it, or iCraft and Bond, the one that ThermalWeb does. That one, they say you can freeze and it thaws out, and they're in Michigan area, um, no, they're in northern Illinois, Chicago area. Still, very cold area. But um, the Nuvo glue, I don't think that it can it can get frozen. So definitely stock up on your Nuvo glue. So I got back in stock the big, this is the four ounce. 
and then this is the two ounce bottle. So those are back in stock. It's the four ounce that goes into the Misty uh, Precision glue, glue Press. This will fit in there though as well. I tried it. So it does go in there, but um, this I believe is what you get with it. So glue's back in stock. Um, we got some great plastic paper here. If I can scoop my camera back a little bit. Um, this is going to be fun for alcohol inks, alcohol markers, um, different oil paints, pastels, things like that. And I've got something I want to experiment with it too. Um, we're going to be doing this by the sheet. Um, right now I've got it just in a pack online, but I'm going to break it apart. So it'll be by the sheet, but there's something else I want to try with this. It feels amazing. Um, and I wasn't even planning to try this, but I bet this would work in the glimmer machine too, because it de I mean, it definitely is a plastic paper. So this may even work in your glimmer machine as well. Four ounce on the Nouveau. You've got it, Miss Debbie. Add that to your pile. And then the other little thing that was in here, other than don't forget the Tim Holtz trimmers were in there. So yes, I know those are all spoken, spoken for, but if you are not on my list for a Tim Holtz trimmer, please, please, please get on that list. Um, I did, I think I sent that email out again yesterday, or I've got it queued to go out. I did link Tim Holtz's video that he did with them, um, talking about the different types of trimmers and what makes, I'm, I'm, you're looking at a box. Let's, let's look at at least this one over here that's waiting to get picked up. Um, the different types of trimmers, what makes this one a little bit different as well. Um, and it is just a really decent trimmer for 35 bucks. It really is. Um, but what else we got in? We got in um, photo sleeves. This one I always call it a hybrid one because it's got a little bit of both. It's got three horizontal, two vertical, and then this little, you can see right here, this little two inch extra strip that you can just put a piece of pretty printed paper in there. So we got those back in stock and then also the horizontal, that's not horizontal, that is vertical. Also the vertical ones as well. And um, we do carry horizontal ones, but I think those have been reordered as well. So that was my box. It was th three huge boxes, but it's because those guys are big, those guys are big, and these guys are big too. So I was a little little scared whenever I started opening boxes, but it was just all these, these big boxes in there. So that made it a little, little bit easier for me. So Tim Holtz trimmers, 72 count ink cubes, which we've been waiting on, ink storage cube holders, 12 by 12 paper takers, um, glue, which we definitely needed. And then I'm thinking, yeah, there is, there's another box that wasn't on my order. So I've got one more order there and that order came in today. So I'm two orders behind, but considering we were sorting the scrap sale, I was busy today and Leslie still is not here. I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I really do. Um, but it is just about six and I'm not staying late. I'm closing up. My um, my boyfriend comes home from, you know, he works on a Kentucky part of the week. So he comes home tonight. So that's super exciting. Um, so I can see him. Oh, I just messed my hair up. I'll tell you. Oh, so this is a funny story. So today there's a little boy in the store and apparently uh, mixed photo sleeves. I got it. I see it. Um, apparently his mom watches the, the Facebook lives and he looks at me. He goes, are you the lady from the Facebook live videos? And I said, well, yes, I am the lady from the Facebook Live videos. And he's like, I don't think you look like her. You kind of do, but I don't think you're her. So I was like, oh, I don't know if that means this is a hot mess today. And I don't look normally like what I do. But I said, well, I know some days my hair is curly. Some days it's up on my head. Um, you know, so I just got that big poof, you know, that I had going on yesterday and didn't even realize part of my hair fell down during the day. But I had to laugh. I'm like, no, I... That, that's really me. I'm 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 the girl from the Facebook Live video. So I I cracked cracked my butt. It really did. I was I was rolling about that. He was like, hmm, I don't know. You, you kind of look like her, but I don't think you're hers. So <laughs> if there is another one of me, I need you to show up tomorrow at 9 a.m. here with me so we can get some stuff done. Um, that would be great because if I could clone myself, this place would rock. Um, but yeah, so if there really is another one of me that does Facebook lives when I don't realize it, I need you to report 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got orders to bust out. So 
How funny is that? Cracked me up. So, all right, everybody. Well, until next time, which might be um, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. So tomorrow, secondhand scrap sale starts. The pre-sale starts at five. So I don't know if I will, uh, maybe I'll try and go on earlier in the day. We'll, we'll just see. So um, I may go on maybe after the sale to show you what's left, things like that. Um, but if you're jumping on late, definitely watch the replay because you've got a teaser of what we've got for that secondhand sale tomorrow. So I'm going to snap some pictures now that we're getting off and um, try and get an email sent out tonight with some of those as well too. So that should be hitting your inboxes. And otherwise, you guys have an amazing evening. Thank you so, so much. Um, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye now.